So I'm trying to understand why more and more people are choosing death, are choosing death. I mean, I look at how hard I fought twice to overcome the threat of dying with my cancer. I look at all I was willing to go through, the treatments and everything else, because I wanted to live. I wanted to live. And yet, more and more people are choosing death. And so I've been trying to get an understanding of why, so I've just been doing a lot of reading. And I came across a study that was done by the University of Notre Dame and Ohio State University. It was an article on deaths of despair. Deaths of despair. So I published some quotes of the article in your church bulletin, and you can also get our church bulletin online. But this is what some of the quotes had to say. Deaths of despair, such as from suicide or alcohol abuse, have been skyrocketing. States that experienced larger declines in religious participation in the last 15 years saw larger increases in deaths of despair. So this is the problem. Despair. And when confronted with it, too many people are choosing death. But this is the solution. States that experienced larger declines in religious participation in the last 15 years saw larger increases in deaths of despair. What's also interesting is that the impact seems to be driven by actual formal religious participation rather than belief or personal activities like prayer. These results underscore the importance of cultural institutions such as religious establishments in promoting well-being. These results underscore the importance of cultural institutions such as religious establishments in promoting well-being. The problem Deaths of despair. The, solu the solution, what well, you're doing right here, right now. This is the solution. This is the solution. On many, so many different levels, this is the solution. What people gain in gathering together here is more than just social interactions. There's a bonding, there's, there's a friendship, there's a care, there's a concern, but even more than that, there's that great presence of the Holy Spirit. That, that, that attitude of, of prayer, of encouragement, of love. We offer something that can help counter deaths of despair by offering life offering life. And this is what we're called to do. We heard in our first reading from the prophet Isaiah, chapter 58, verse 7 to 8, and then 10. Thus says the Lord, share your bread with the hungry, bringing the afflicted and the homeless into your house, clothing the naked when you see them, not turning your back on your own flesh. Then your light shall break forth like the dawn. If you lavish your food on the hungry and satisfy the afflicted, then your light shall rise in the darkness and your gloom shall become like midday. So now I'm going to take some creative liberties with the, well, I'll use some big terms, the hermeneutical exegetical interpretation of this scripture passage. I'm going to take some creative liberties. Let's look at what I've underlined. Bringing the afflicted into the homeless and the homeless into your home. Um, 
no, Elliot, I'm not encouraging you to go out onto the second street there and grab some of those people and bring them home to mom, okay? Now, please don't take that literally. That's why I'm going to take a creative approach. This is a house of sorts, isn't it? This is a household of God. Maybe we're being asked to bring the afflicted who don't have a place like Holy Communion Church to come here. Maybe this is how we will satisfy the afflicted. Come and see. And what's the best way to get them to come and see what Jesus told us in the gospel today of Matthew chapter 5, verse 16. Jesus said, Your light must shine before others that they may see your good deeds and glorify your heavenly Father. By letting our light shine, we will attract people to a place that helps them to overcome the deaths of despair and to come discover the fullness of life, to let our light shine. Now, so often people, when they think of let our, well, how? Well, just by the lives that we live. But you know what? I'd like to take a creative approach to this gospel passage, and I'd like to try to drag you into the 21st century a little bit in letting your light shine. Just drag you a teensy bit. Let me give you a good example. One year, I took my very good friend, Mary Richards, on a quilt store tour of the Oregon coast. A quilt store tour of the Oregon coast. I just Googled quilt stores, and we drove on the Oregon coast and stopped in each one. It was painful. I don't like shopping at <laughs> quilt stores. But... We were there after Christmas, and Mary needed it. Her husband had died on Christmas Day. And so it was helping her to live life. And so we were in some little, I, the, the town was so small, it didn't even have a gas station. It had two pot stores, but it didn't have a gas station. <laughs> You could tell where our priorities are in this day, can't you? <laughs> but they had a quilt store. So we walked in there, and Mary Richards was like, oh, would you look at the fabric selection they have? Would you look at the quality? Would you look at this brand? And I'm looking at fabric. She was thrilled. I think she bought half the store. And we got back to the hotel room, and she's got it, she's just going through it and piling it up and sorting it. She says, I can't believe that place exists. No, how do people know about it in the middle of nowhere? And I said, I'll show you how. I started taking pictures and I posted a review on Google. So I checked today, almost 2,000 people have found my review on Google helpful as of today. Almost 2,000 people have found that review helpful. And see, when we had gone back to the store, the woman thanked us. And I was surprised she remembered us. No, I wasn't surprised. With the amount of fabric that Mary bought, I'm not surprised she remembered us. But she thanked us. She said, thank you for the, doing that review. That review has brought in so much business. So much business. A Google review. Have you done a Google review of Holy Communion Church yet? That's how we let our light shine. How about a Yelp review? I mean, the reality is, you've probably tried to get some of your friends and neighbors into church, haven't you? Yeah, you know, that'll take a, a straight jacket and maybe some form of, you know, I don't know, relaxant or something. I mean, the reality is, <laughs> it doesn't, but, but wait a minute. Last Sunday's homily by jo Joy, amazing. Well, you know, it's on, it's on YouTube. I mean, you just, you, you can go to our website, and we have the link to YouTube. You, you can help people who are maybe going through divorce through Joy's homily. You can help them overcome the deaths of despair by saying, there is light, there is hope. And, and I heard this great message. I'm going to share it with you. And, and if you're not that technologically advanced, just let 
Father David, myself, or Mark know, and, and we'll email you the link to the any homily you want. That's a way of doing it. You see, we are needed right now. I mean, I got this absolutely wonderful thank you card. Well, it's for both of us. <laughs> Dear Father David and Bishop Jim. Yeah, I guess it's for both of us. <laughs> thank you for the love support and prayers that you have provided me with the loss of my mother. Words cannot express what my heart feels in being a part of Holy Communion Church. It truly is a family, a family of love. We're about. This is what we're about. Now we just need to let the world know. It's sad that the death of despair is skyrocketing. It's sad that church attendance is declining. It doesn't have to be that way, though. We can let our light shine. Oh, and, and, and I'm looking out there, and some of you don't even have emails or computers. So we do have some old school stuff. Stickers you can put on the back of your car. Reality. I mean, it just this will let people know if they ask you a question, what's that? You can say, hey, come and see. Got a place that provide you with love, support, encouragement, all that you need to truly discover and live life. Let's let our light shine. And let's try doing it in maybe a 21st century application now. 